Oh, I couldn't have got them fourteen forty if I'd if I'd only dropped ten k off the uh, off the chaos. I could have got this team. So that's why I didn't want to get um, you know, what's it called? This isn't coaches or anything because that's literally what I said that, that might stop me getting. Them. Wait, no, that's fourteen forty. That is within five hundred, isn't it? I could have got them. Why was I thinking it was fourteen fifty? I could have got them with my chaos. Why didn't I get them with my chaos? Pisses me off that. So for the benefit of YouTube, <laughs> I've been spinning for half an hour with my chaos team. Literally over half an hour, in fact, and didn't get matched. Uh, maybe it's because he's only got one win more than losses. So after half an hour of not getting matched with 1900 chaos, which could have played this team, 460 difference, they could have actually played them. And don't. Yeah. <sighs> Pretty annoying. But instead, down TV. He could have just started spinning, but I find it hard to believe that after half an hour of spinning, he's just started. It's possible, though. But it's just annoying, isn't it? It's annoying that I decide to change. I decide to change team and instantly end up down TV instead of up massive TV. Griff would have fucked us up, that's true. The TV Plus doesn't matter for the 500 TV limit. It's just we'd be like, you know, we'd be way, way apart on matching, so we'd be last to match. I guess that's the thing. Each time I'm going to be last in the matching pool because of having the TV Plus as well. So if anyone isn't going to get a game, it's going to be the 1900 TV team that's matching as 2,600 or whatever. Hello, Mellow Gold. Mimic you. <laughs> Mimic you is pretty good. Fucked up Pikachu. But no, the the actual TV is capped at five hundred. So so what they do is they throw in all of the teams that could possibly play each other, with so we're on real TV, and then they match them according to TV plus. So I'd be thrown in the same pool as a fourteen forty team, but I'd be counted as you know I don't even know how many more wins I've got than losses eighteen. So that's what's that nine. Two eight two eight hundred I'd be counting as. So I wouldn't really get a game. I would always be playing against the highest T V team in the pool. Um or the one with the best record or whatever. And if anyone wasn't getting matched it'd be me. So Yeah, the stream title says all chaos all day. However, if it had been if I'd stuck to that, it would just be spinning chaos all day. So I thought it was best to um to forget it. Still no guard on this team. Oh, he's letting us blitz that guy. Delete open ladder. Yeah. Yeah, delete open ladder. But then there'd be too much for do work for Dode and his, his team of manually thingies. Yeah, I'd delete champion ladder. Yeah, that'd be fair enough, Jelly Little, as well. That would be a fair enough thing to do. And then let people keep their teams from season to season. 
it's silly that they're not allowed to keep them. The reason that teams aren't allowed to keep their teams from season to season is because uh, Dode has this bizarre idea. Oh, I, I just realised I didn't put the strength guy in the middle. Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? That was lucky. I want to foul his Palmer, but I guess this that's getting a bit unlikely now, a bit unrealistic. Probably better blitz him. Go for a one dice, maybe a two. Mark him. Make it harder to punch him. Hold and pick the ball up. change the title of the stream of Chaos All Day if they can get games No guard at all is really fucking annoying. Just quietly. Vaguely protect the ball first. Seems quite reasonable. Go for the blitz on him. It's one of the few ways to get two dice. One in nine on his first ever dodge. Well done. Hopefully TLC. Oh, I'm playing the niggler instead of the fucking non-niggled. Oh, I should should have checked that. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly, Wilkin, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Guy De Caron had agility as well, didn't he? Yeah, I never saw the need for it either, Jolio. No, it seems dumb. Just have the competition at the end of open ladder each season. But it's because the reason that there's a champs ladder is two reasons. One, Dode is obsessed by concessions. Even though even though he claims to not be. He's completely obsessed by concessions. And uh B it's uh it's because he also believes that having to um that having to uh that being able to have good skill ups would make it unfair. It would give an unfair advantage to some teams. If you can fucking believe that shit. The guy who argues for T V plus thinks that some some teams could get it's because in his, in the league that he was in, um somebody got like a plus strength two plus strength werewolves. So something like that could dominate forever and it would be unfair. You know, it just shows how much he just hasn't got a clue about actual real blood ball that real human pe beings play. Not got the foggiest fucking clue. And get a player in there and then foul, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But gotta go for the pickup first. I ain't gonna double GFI it. That was nice getting the uh getting the ogre fail in. Just one GFI for him. I guess I've gotta do it to stop people running through as well and pressuring the ball. Not easy to surf him, is it? I'd like the ball really turn three. Maybe I should have just gone for the foul, but then I would have failed him. But, yeah. yeah, take the laptop in bed and lie down. Yeah, maybe. It just depends what, what it's like. Yes, Bonnet could feel the Kelly crap. Yeah, I just don't know what it's going to be like, do I? The fact that I'm getting probably one nail removed and then three bits cut off other nails. It might be really bad, it might be alright. Yeah, got blodge or guard block, yeah, that's the thing. Strong arm's just trash, isn't it? It's tr Strong arm is you're paying a double for it to be useful on once a game max pretty much and usually not even then one turn may be useful or dodge useful a lot of turns in the match guard useful every turn in the match I was just short of the old throw <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this plus edge catcher is going to come in, is he? No, Pommer runs away. Classic. Pretty good this though, isn't it? The, the classic four pickup fails in the rain. Right. I think I'll just punch him, see what happens.
Right, so... He wants to pick up the ball. Foul him first, then go for the pick up. <laughs> Get to <a> fuck. <laughs> Smelly boots and pants. See you later, fuckhead. Ah, oh, is that poor word? Boo. Don't really want him to get the uh, get the ogre in, so I just can rely on Blodge. In Blodge, we trust. Hey, he even managed to pick up the ball. What is this sorcery? A ducky foul. <laughs> it has been on point. Yeah, the last, the last, in all of yesterday, the fouling was great. To be honest. One game in particular was completely outrageous. Just like, yes, yeah, Spacey Fagor turned it around. <laughs> I made best Fagor on that wrestling game today. A little bit anyway. I really like the idea of the old uh, the wrestling game with the things in it. Pretty tough when it takes you four turns to fucking pick up the ball, isn't it? Well, he's let us crack open here, hasn't he? Pretty easily. Um, GFI, dodge him around. So there's still a. He's still in a cage. So I can make this dodge out first. Cheeky GFI. I guess I should have slammed players in here first. Can you surf the ball carrier here? Maybe, I guess. A bit of a wild move, but the four turns of not being able to pick up the ball made me think it was worth it taking the chance. <laughs> yeah, fouling and making GFIs in the same game. Yeah, I would, I would think about break tackling and double, I really would. Not sure. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I probably would just take my blow, but I'd think about break tackle. 
Because strength five bludge break tackle would be outrageous, wouldn't it? He can't. He could. No, no, he can't now. But I think he could have surfed the carrier. Oh no, surfed somebody. I don't think he could have surfed the carrier, but I think he could have surfed somebody. Ballsy play here. Hope you're ready for this. I guess I should just put him there, maybe. Right, that's mostly done. Should have done that first, I guess. Oh god, brilliant timing there with that skull. And both down. Yeah, I wanted to move him in there though, didn't I? That was pretty important to get that guy in. Classic. It was on the sheet. I tried anyway. But I guess I should have just left the ball carrier here. Obviously, gonna get the power here. No, outrageous. Yeah, it was a glorious bonehead, to be fair. But the thing is, though, Doe doesn't actually want people to play in it because then he'd have to, then he'd have to do work adminning it. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm trying to become a better coach in Blood Bowl. Who should I be watching to help increase my knowledge? Whose name doesn't rhyme with mage? <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Um, just me. I'm the only one. That's it. Simple, isn't it? T 
Two dice in the ogre seems good, but then there's not the guy back to protect there. Jimmy, stop lying and give me a real answer. <laughs> you dirty dingo. No choice. Right, this guy can get served, I don't even care. I just want to go for the foul. Sent off for a stun. Classy. Oh. Okay, maybe not so classic. Not a bad half, really, was it? Like, Apple. Sad that his Apple were. That would be good, yeah. That would be good, uh, Squirrel Dude, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's modesty is proverbial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's fair Travica yeah no I mean obviously look if you've got if you've got um, if you've got matchsticks to keep your eyes open then Sage is alright isn't he Sean is good Andy Devo is good um, Inarian when he's on <laughs> It's it's hard. Do you know what TLC? It's hard. It's hard to. It's hard to split hairs between how good people are. I think. I think you know. Obviously, once you get to the likes of, Shawnee and Ducky and Mull, they're all good. So I don't think. You know, I think it's hard to then say, you know, like. X is better than Y at that point. Nah, mate, you never know. You never know. You never know, Squirrel Dude. Might win it. Me using the bribe there alerted him to the fact that he's got a bribe, didn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's true, Skrill dude, yeah, very true. Just a combination of hair and memes. If he wins champ ladder, it will be because it's funny and cyanide is trolling us. <laughs> Three dice because he's strength five. It's pretty fun. I could have surfed that guy, couldn't I? I've just realised. Literally could have just surfed his pommer there. Could have blitzed him and shoved him off that way. Probably anyway. I'm pretty sure I could have done. Mm. 
Yeah, Inarion's really good defence. Um, I really don't like how he... How he st tends to score in two and takes unnecessary risks on offence. I really don't like that. Like, like in the game against me where he played great on defence. Um, and, you know, probably didn't deserve for me to get to get the breakthrough to score, to be fair. Um, that I need to use the wizard for. But even in that game, he just fucking... It was the semi-final of the, of the champs ladder. And he fucking made a pass to get, you know, to score instead of just a handoff. Completely unnecessary 2 plus roll. And I don't care if he's got a reroll on it. I just can never, can never, ever, ever condone that. But, um, he certainly plays good defence. You know, he knows how to play. I just don't like it. Yeah, the game is bringing this chaos here. Yeah. Shawnee's old Shawnee gets us the dice rolling. <laughs> Poor Shawnee. The the main thing for a perfect course would be to just not not make mistakes would be the, the thing, wouldn't it? I think the biggest thing is just is just not not making mistakes. So maybe Mo makes the least, or maybe you know, like, how can you know? How can you know who makes the least mistakes? You can't really. You can't really, can you? <laughs> Forgot Sage is starting teams. <laughs> and then you would get dice to fucking make his blood boil. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, even if there was the perfect, the perfect coach who made perfect decisions, I mean, it's so subjective anyway, so. You could really, once people are good, I don't think you can rate the order that much. All you can say is what people have done, isn't it, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, all you can do is say what people have actually done. And, you know, I haven't, I haven't done anything in Champs Ladder. I did win a major, well, three majors on Fumble, if you can't stun me. Being top ranked on Fumble. You know, uh, won OFL. Sage has won some shitty Blood Bowl 2 leagues. And I think he's won a major, but ranked. So ranked, you've got to take with a pinch of salt. Uh, PW's won loads of ranked majors, but they're ranked, so they don't count that much. He's done really well in black box. He's won tabletop tournaments, lots of tabletop tournaments. Um, then you've got people like, you know, Ducky who's won Champs Ladder twice, but hasn't done anything in, play in tabletop or in black box uh, or in ranked. And so, you know, it's all... Like Spartacore's obviously done really well in tabletop tournaments, done really well in the World Cup, qualify for Champs Ladder first try. Um, been number one ranked on NAF, don't know how he's done in black box. So it's, you know, it's... Yeah, exactly, Pedro Jack. Three times, sorry, Ducky. Three times. I don't know what a Bubba Apple is. <laughs> so, no. Yeah, if you're looking by what they've done, then Mole, Ducky, Christopher and Aaron would be the top guys on, on Blood Bowl 2, wouldn't they? If you look at what they've achieved on Blood Bowl 2. Three, who was the third? I know you won with Brett's. And then I just thought there was another one with somebody else. <laughs> I can't say I had to pay a lot of attention to it. Ch 
Charles and Dark. Oh, yeah, I remember the Charles. I didn't. I, I. I. I never saw the Dark Elf game, to be honest. So, in my head, there's only Charles and Brett. Sage won a load of games in the first ladder. Yeah, when it was all beginners, and he played. To be fair, Lupak won a load of games in the first ladder. I went twenty-five and all with like three or four different teams. <laughs> so, but I mean, it was. The standard was horrific in the first ladder, wasn't it? I like how my plan was to was to buy a reroll and replace the blitzer, but all I've been able to do is buy replacement peasants. Yeah, and then there's plus the subjective experience of people you've played, but then you just have an extremely small data set, don't you? So like, I've played. Uh, you know, obviously the top guys on Fumble. And, uh, what's he called? Stone Troll never really gets talked about as somebody really good, but he was he was amazing when I played him. I, just claw palm mirrors, but he just used his claw palm so, like, he just thoroughly outplayed me every single game. Now, you know, he may have had better teams or whatever, but he just completely outplayed me every time. So, uh, fair play to Stone Troll there. But then, um, you know, <laughs> turning into dog. And, uh, yeah, exactly, Jelly. Like, I've got a better, I've got a better, I've got a winning record against Enzo and Antara Barala. But, uh, you know, they've got better records overall than me, probably. Or at least with certain teams. Or maybe better respected or whatever. So it's just, you can't really say judge off them but obviously they're good I mean you can know if someone's good or shit if you play them basically so yeah sidestep and grab yeah Yeah, I played the Brazilian coaches. Yeah, exactly. Played everyone. I've, I haven't. I have lost. I lost the uh, Drew. I think every time I played purple chess, but he had a way better team every time. Sage beat me when he outbashed me with Wood Elves. I had Undead, and he had Wood Elves, and he outbashed me, so he won that game. The other times I've drawn or beat him. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not complaining about Pedro. I just think you know. I think most people would rank Endzone and uh, I'd rank, I think they'd rank them higher than Stone Troll as well, which uh, maybe they shouldn't. Haha, <laughs> get to fuck. Pretty lucky. He's down to 10 now, isn't he? I think. Or maybe he's even less. 3, 6, 9. Interesting. Oh, he got sent off for that foul, even though he had a bribe. <laughs> or did he just not use the bribe? No, he used it and failed. Haha. <laughs> Idiot. Should have rolled better, the prick. It's because I'm on my laptop at the moment, book burner, for X amount of time. Yeah. Yeah, grab, that is the problem with grab, is the opportunity cost, yeah, absolutely. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, let's L screen this bitch up. with movement six. Going for the guy he can't pile on? Oh, unless he gets brought down. Shithead. His armor seven as well. I thought about not putting them. I thought about putting the armor eight in front as well. It's not easier to break through here, I don't think. So, just leave it. Yeah, don't the colours, it was a, the chaos just couldn't get a game, unfortunately. He's going for the dirty play, good, good call. Apart from the fact that now I can pile on him. Potentially. God almighty, he killed him. I can base the ball here with a GFI, which I honestly don't even hate.
Because he's down men, isn't he? Quite heavily. So herb dirt basing isn't so bad for me. <laughs> he could 2D him and he can blitz then he can dodge out so it's worth making this one day so just wish I'd uh, wish I'd done this first I guess yep standard The face he made when he put it to the <laughs> Yeah, that was really great, that VIP Pedro Jack. That was hilarious. Hello, Coley. <laughs> <laughs> you call him it, buddy. <laughs> that honestly happens in fucking in in Middlesbrough and that. They say I'm not your mate, mate. Brilliant. No, he's all he's all going stupid. So I guess maybe I shouldn't have uh, freed him up. Strong arm. Getting its one use for the match, just like he wanted. I just need somebody basing him if the th is it GFI to three dice with wrestle? No, because I, I, I can recover here. He's got sidestep though. The wrestle is two dice with wrestle better than three dice without. He could go for a dodge out to recover at the end. Let's go for the GFI. Maybe just go there next to him. Then you just can't get two dice. And don't make these one dices that are dangerous. Let him roll the dice. It's just the wrestles that had needed a GFI and more players, didn't it? Yeah, just playing Blood Bowl can take a toll on you, that's true, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, the Pedro thing was amazing though. Holy shit. This ogre is ridiculous, isn't it? This is the most stupid ogre I've ever seen in, in any game ever. It's ridiculous. It's completely outrageous. Now, oh, well, this can it can three dice him anyway. I'd like to score with this guy, wouldn't I? Oh no, he's on seven already. Ah, oh, shit. There's one right there. That would have been really nice because it would it would occupy the ogre and it would make a two dice on the palm as well, wouldn't it? But got the classic YouTube cage going on. Thanks on Anya for the bits. <laughs> An ogre bonehead more than 50% of the time. This is like, this hasn't even boneheaded 50, it's like boneheaded fucking 80 or something ridiculous. Banged on by a broger. Yeah, one into one. Oh man. I, I went, when I drew against Enzo in one time where I did that twice in one game. And like both times I pretty much just needed pushes and stuff to do things, it was crazy. Still drew or still drew nil nil. I was pretty happy with it. Time for the strongest potato in the universe if it, if it works. If the handoff works. Um, the side step here just won't matter. So might as well try to punch him. Hand off to him. And he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Block and everything, yeah. Surgery is for that finger jerking, right? Yeah, no, it's not, no, it's for toes. Right, I might base him, even though it's a bit lame, isn't it? Because he might fail this one in nine. Potato and a half, isn't it? There's no one else he can dodge out. No, then it makes it too easy for the uh, ogre. And just punch him. Would have obviously been really good to have had him, and then I could have followed, and he could have come up there, couldn't he? And it would have been totally safe, but I thought it was worth hedging against the failed catch. Yeah, strength 5 bludge means it's pretty safe, isn't it, all round? He's all going stupid again. <laughs> what the fuck? 
This is going to be interesting to see the amount of boneheads here. Oh, yes. Strength 5 blood, you're doing things. No, oh, fuck this guy's here. Didn't even see him. Oh yeah, vanity pass. Yeah, that would have been all right, wouldn't it? That was hard though with the two tackles on. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, the bonehead. Bonehead is going to be crazy. It's not, I can't reach anyone to foul. <laughs> it's a sad thing. I wanted to foul, believe me. What's happened here? Hopefully I haven't lost. No. Yeah, there was no, there was no one available to foul. I, I would have done, believe me, I wanted to, but... Better to try and get star player points, isn't it? From Kaz. As unlikely as it may be. <laughs> MVP! <laughs> 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 The panel that selects the MVP in the fluff, obviously taking the piss out of him there. Right, let's see. Bonehead. Wow, 56%. That's ridiculous, isn't it? That is ridiculous. I thought he'd fail more than that. I thought he'd really fail more than that. That is crazy. And now obviously he, he played risky activating him 16 times. But still, that's very unlucky, isn't it? Incredible. <laughs> yeah, he was my MVP. Yeah. <laughs> when someone dies, they get the MVP. When someone fails 44% of their boneheads, they get MVP. Finally, guard on the team, eh? Could even go Mighty Blow on, on Sextus Burtz. <laughs> Sextus Burtz. Ty Burtis is getting guard, for sure. Oh man, it's a double. <laughs> I'm still pretty sure he's getting guard. Um, and Maybe Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow on Wrestle isn't that bad because you can. it just means you blitz people with block with knowing that you're not going to get blocked back in it. So it's not It's not that bad. It's not as bad as it feels. <laughs> um, so I've got 11, 12. So I could buy two, two peasants and have 13 and then sack the injured ones. Or buy one peasant. Buy one peasant 
And then keep the injured 30th guy for a game. And then maybe after the next one, sack the other injured. I'm always just replacing fucking dead, dead peasants here. Yeah, exactly. Blocker is the most feasible chance of Pom as well, yeah. I don't like the only 12 players, so definitely going to buy one one peasant, at least. Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.